Welcome to my channel and today we're going to do a review on Jay Leno's Advanced uh, Vehicle Care. And the kit that I got, uh, the Vehicle Care Kit, consists of basically a basic kit of your tire dressing, uh, carnauba wax, um, an instant detailer, and the uh, car wash soap. And uh, I'll be going through um, the... Um, waxing procedure uh, that I do for uh, detailing my car and I'll explain why I do the steps the way I do uh, which will save you some time and effort and uh, I want to see how this uh, advanced vehicle care products by Jay Leno how they work so we'll be giving you an honest uh, review uh, a bit about myself I'm a car guy I've owned an excess of 70 cars in my lifetime not all at once uh, three at the most at once and I have detailed cars for private collectors with million dollar one-off cars and um, to my own pieces of uh, uh, iron that I have here in the garage so uh, my experience and expertise in in detailing um, may be a little bit more than yours uh, and it might be a little bit less uh, but these are some of the tricks and uh, tips that I'll give you along the way of uh, maintaining your car and um, we will see how this goes so in this kit I got a tire uh, trim care uh, foam sponge uh, use this to apply your uh, tire dressing or if uh, you want to put some of the uh, trim care on here and wipe it on say your door panels or your dashboard a really good quality microfiber cloth uh, wax applicator pad which is really soft microfiber you've got inside here your hand wax tire and trim care vehicle wash and quick detailer now today we're only going to be using the hand wax and the tire trim uh, because this vehicle is clean so there's no point in me washing the vehicle now what I have here is a 2010 uh, Camaro RSSS uh, not that it makes any difference um, but the car is eight years old um, it is original paint it does have some spidering in the paint or swirl marks. Um, I don't have any correction uh, cream that Jay Leno sells um, or any of his uh, buffing equipment. Um, but the paint is in pretty good shape with the exception of you know, the door ding or, or uh, paint chips uh, from uh, road rash and that sort of thing. But uh, aside overall, the, the paint is in pretty good condition for the age of the vehicle. I'm the second owner of the vehicle. Uh, I don't drive it in the rain. Uh, it's really just a really Sunday cruiser, so to speak. Um, so, but since I don't have to wash the car, we won't be using the soap, uh, not on this particular vehicle. We'll just be using the uh, wax and the tire dressing and we'll go over what I used uh, and the procedures of how I do that. Now my garage is pretty well lit up um, and you never want to wash or wax your vehicle in direct sunlight uh, if you're going to do it properly. Now this is uh, one of the buckets that I use. Uh, as you can see, there is this in the bottom. And essentially what this does is when you fill your so soap with uh, your bucket with soap um, and you put the brush or your wash mitt or um, you know your pad for cleaning bugs off your vehicle when you put it back in the bucket the dirt will go to the bottom and it won't be picked up um, when you're washing your vehicle it is best to have two buckets when you're washing your vehicle uh, one with uh, soap and water and then you rewash the car after uh, once again with clean water that way you don't get any debris and you know potentially reduce the amount of scratching on your vehicle when washing it now for me i like to wash the vehicle um my preference is uh at dusk or you know after dinner when it's not so hot and say the driveway is shaded um that way you don't have direct sunlight on the paint um because and unless you dry the vehicle very quickly or say dry it in the garage out of the sun uh, you'll reduce the amount of hard water spots that you will get on your paint so if you've ever noticed some vehicles at a car show cruise or even a parking lot uh, you'll see you know little rings of dots and that's hard water deposits um, you know I'm not gonna wash my car with mineral water it's not that you know an amazing of a car um, you know it's not a million dollar car it's just a, a sunday driver um 
But, you know, if you want to reduce um, the hard water to, uh, stain deposits, uh, wash it in, um, not in direct sunlight, and dry it immediately. Uh, dark paint cars, especially black, is the worst. Um, but I'll give you some tips and tricks uh, as you go to wash your vehicle, which will help prevent that. Now Jay's got this product, it's a wheel cleaner, and it says to spray it on the wheel, let it sit one to two minutes, and then you could use a brush to agitate uh, the alloy wheel. Uh, it says don't leave it on any longer, because if you can, you can damage the wheel. It's imperative that you do it. If you have a high pressure washer, I personally, myself, don't recommend anything over 16, 1700 PSI. Um, because you can do some damage to wheels, especially if you're pointing your pressure washer too close to the paint or the wheel, uh, you could damage it as well. Now, the first thing I noticed uh, about these products right away is I took all the lids off. Now, myself, uh, I suffer from severe chronic headaches, actually four types of headaches. And one of my triggers for my headaches is smells. Um, I can't handle strong smells and all of these products have a very very nice uh, scent to them one smells like coconuts one smells like cherries and so on they just have a really nice aroma I don't know how many times I've bought products uh, off of the store shelf or I've gotten home sprayed the wheels to clean the the tires or the rims started coughing because the smell was so overwhelming and hard on my lungs and very uh, abrasive whereas these products definitely have a very sweet smell they're not hard on on the nose and uh, definitely helps prevent any further headaches for me another thing that I like to have here in the garage this is a squeegee um, now when you go to dry your vehicle after washing it um, and the paint is covered in water not semi dry but heavy water you can use this uh, this squeegee to wipe off the roof um, and the body panels but you want to do it only in one sweep. You do not want to do it on any type of dry paint because it will smear and smudge and it cuts down on your drying time. Next, I have a couple different chamois. I have one for wheels, one for paint, one for door jams. I keep them in uh, containers like this because it keeps them moist and uh, that way they don't dry out. But I do wash out my chamois each time I use the wash and dry the vehicle. That way you don't get any contaminants in your paint. Another thing is if you drop your chamois on the ground when drying your vehicle, do not use it. You will scratch your paint. You can get micro uh, dirt and uh, stones and debris in your chamois and scratch your paint and do a lot more damage than good. So essentially, if you drop it, either throw your chamois or immediately uh, wash it out in the sink and uh, make sure you don't uh, scratch your vehicle. Now, another thing I like to do um, once the vehicle is dry, especially if I'm going to wax the vehicle, um, I have an air compressor here in the garage so you can dry uh, all the cracks and crevices to get uh, all the water out of the vehicle. I've even seen people use a leaf blower uh, if they don't have compressed air. Um, because no matter uh, what you do when drying the vehicle, you'll never get it fully, fully dry unless you air dry it. I do know that they make um, uh, air dryers for uh, vehicles to dry, but a leaf blower will work, compressed air, Never put it directly on the paint. You want to keep it a minimum uh, one to two feet away and just kind of blow the, the, the water out of the, the cracks and crevices. Um, it'll definitely help you when you're waxing because you don't want water on the wax. And uh, that way it'll turn out with a really nice finish. And then the odds of you driving away after you've got your car all nice and clean and having water run down the side of it, uh, that will greatly reduce uh, that problem. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, there's all kinds of crevices. You know, you got your door gas cap in the trunk. Um, when you're drying your vehicle, open the hood, dry underneath the hood, the door jams, the trunk, and take your time because it will make for a better quality job. Now, I already have some... Uh, good microfiber cloths. Uh, the kit does come with one and I'm gonna save that one for using the quick detail, which is that essentially that spray wax. But I've got a whole bunch of brand new microfiber cloths. Um, I will be using that, wiping off the excess wax. 
and uh, saving the other one for uh, just a quick detail but I do have a pile don't buy these at the dollar store go to your jobber who sells these for automotive uh, they're bigger than the ones you get from the dollar store they're better quality and uh, you want to make sure that they're clean I always give every rag or chamois I use a little shake just to make sure that there's nothing in it and uh, that way you'll prevent any scratches from when you're detailing your vehicle okay so uh, we're gonna be using the Jay Leno's hand wax um, it says on here Jay Leno's hand wax is an advanced carnauba wax system it is engineered to nourish and protect your vehicle's finish helps bring back life to clear coat fiberglass gel coat in its surfaces shake well apply to a clean polished area apply a small amount of wax onto the Jay Leno's garage microfiber applicator uh, work a small area at a time apply directly to the surface on a thin even layer allow to dry to a light haze and buff away the residue in a clean microfiber uh, tip being a car detailer don't do the whole car don't do the whole hood don't do the whole roof do in small sections I've learned that uh, wax in the door or underneath the hood um, you can just open the door and run your microfiber cloth along the edge um, I know it's hard to get on the inside but if this door is wide open you can come along to the inside take your microfiber and run along the channel here and uh, clean any dust or debris that's inside the door jam and that way you won't get any white stains from uh, the wax or even on the door lip here you wipe it along you basically go around you do the trunk the doors underneath the hood uh, just so that way you get any excess uh, wax that's left another tip you want to do when you're doing uh, waxing you want to stay away from plastic because uh, when it dries it'll leave a white film residue I'm not sure about this product but that's something that I've learned in the past um, also when you're professionally buffing a vehicle 
with a polisher and you're going through three or four step process, even seven steps for some vehicles, uh, I spend the time to tape things off, tape off chrome, so that way you don't put any buff marks in the plastic. Another tip, if you don't have a garage at home and you want to wash and wax your vehicle and say your only option is to go to a U-wash, like a local do-it-yourself car wash, uh, best time to do is probably after midnight because you won't have any people driving into the bays honking their horns while you're waxing your car while they're waiting to wash their car. It's best to, to do it in the evening as well to, out of the sun and I'm sure the owner of the car wash won't mind if nobody else is there. Um, I've had to do that before I had a garage uh, to do it somewhere in the shade and it definitely helped me out. You do not want to do this in any uh, direct sunlight. So one of the last things we want to do is use the tire and trim care. Um, basically it's a shake well, apply a small amount of dressing on the uh, foam applicator block. Uh, spread a thin layer of over the rubber or plastic trim, allow it to penetrate, then wipe away any excess. So we give this a shake. Apply some here. It wanna, now this tire already has dressing on it, but it can definitely use some more. Y you want to apply it to the contour of the sidewall of the tire and spread evenly. You can see uh, the existing tire dressing that's on there. Gives a real nice uh, shine to the tire. And you want to let it dry a little bit before you drive it so that way it soaks into the tire and it doesn't spray on the paint, especially if you've spent all this time waxing the car. I want to give a quick demonstration of the uh, quick detailer, uh, basically what it does. Um, give it a shake. Direction shake well, avoid spraying on too hot surfaces. So don't do it uh, out in the sun. And um, spray, spray a fine mist in a small area, rub in a surface using clean microfiber towel. So this is a towel that Jay sent me with the uh, quick detailer. Just give it a light mist. Help if I turn it on. You have an option for stream or spray. I recommend the spray. And again, you see just a very light mist. That's all you need. It's actually more than enough. And then you just want to rub it in. Flip your microfiber back over. You'll feel it's a little damp with your hand. This is great if you're at car shows and you're there all day and you, your, your car gets dusty or let's just say it just sits in the garage uh, all week until you use it next time and you, you want to just give it a quick wipe down. This is a perfect tool for that. And the last thing you want to do is uh, do the glass. That's because basically when you're waxing the car, like I have a sunroof on this car, I can put my wax bottles, my microfiber cloths on top of the glass, not on the paint as I'm going through the car to wax it. And uh, you rest your hands on the car rather than put them on the body when you're waxing the car. And uh, it just, it's less clean up. Also when you're done the vehicle, another thing that you want to do is pull the car outside, put the car in the sun, have a friend look at the car and then point out any imperfections that you may have missed. Because uh, we're all human, we all make mistakes, we all miss stuff. Um, and that way, you know, you don't get any finger marks, no wax residue left over. And you can just check the car over yourself to see the, the hard work that you've uh, come to fruition. And it's now a beautiful car. So in closing, I give Jay Leno's Advanced Car Care two thumbs up. I think it's a great product. Um, it smells good. It applies very easily. It uh, doesn't leave any uh, messy residue. Uh, it's easy to use. Um, it's a quality product. Uh, if your headaches suffer like me, you don't get really strong, bad, nasty odors. And uh, it's a quality product. And I think price-wise, it's competitive based on what's in the market retail. Um, it's a little different here in Canada because I had to get that in the States. Now, Jay Leno's uh, Garage does ship to Canada. Uh, but since we were in the States, I picked it up over there since it was cheaper to ship 
to Michigan since we live close by, but if you're another Canadian and you live abroad, um, they will ship to your door. I'll put a link in the description uh, for ordering. I think it's lenosgarage.com. Um, and you can order the product. So I will definitely uh, reorder this product. I'm very happy with the quality and the quantity. Uh, I waxed my 2010 Camaro with not even an eighth of a, or not even an eighth of a bottle of wax. That's all I use. It's very, very minimal. So I should at very least get at least 10, 10 applications to that bottle. So I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. I also do a vlog called People in Pain about living in chronic pain positive. Um, and I hope you're having a pain-free day. So don't forget to stay positive. Pain-free wishes.